For those who might not know me, my name is Father Matt, and throughout Lent I'll be joining you each Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday to grab a tiny piece of the Mass readings for the day and think about what Jesus is trying to show us or tell us or help us understand. We'll be using these passages from the incredible book that is the Bible to try and bring together what Jesus is teaching and what in the world that actually has to do with our lives. It's a bold task, but an important one, and one so beautifully fitting for this time of year. It's our chance to join together and spend and our Lent with the Lord. All of that begins today, Ash Wednesday, the day when we run into church to have ashes smudged onto our foreheads and hopefully had the chance to stick around and pray while we were there. And those who were lucky enough to go to Mass today got to hear Jesus teaching His disciples, teaching them the best ways to live and the best ways to believe. He tells them, and us really, that when we perform righteous deeds or want to pray, we shouldn't be doing it to be recognized. We shouldn't be overly big or bold or bombastic, blowing a trumpet for all to hear. But Jesus then pulls a quick 180 and also says that when we pray and fast and all that, we shouldn't look too gloomy or neglectful or blah. It's an interesting message, and one, I think, in which our Lord is reminding us that living out a Christian existence, being a Christian, should never be just a show that we put on. Loving and serving and fasting and giving and all of that that the Christian life entails shouldn't be something we do for the pat on the back or the sympathy or any of that. It should just be who we are, because it's who Jesus is. Now, you might think, wait, but today, this first day of Lent, this Ash Wednesday, today's the day when we do make a show of it, don't we? We smudge this stuff on our heads for everyone to see. And yeah, we kind of do that. But if we're doing it right, not really. Because these ashes don't really point to me and declare, look how great he is. No, if we're doing it right, these ashes point to God. They point to the one who lived and died and conquered death so that when we die, it's with the hope of salvation. If we're doing it right, then these ashes are a representation that, yeah, I am dust, and to dust I shall return. My life here on earth will come to an end, and that's okay, because I believe that on the other side of this Lent, on the other side of the struggles that come with this life, there's something awesome that comes with the resurrection of Jesus and of me. When I wear these ashes, sure, it's a symbol, kind of almost a big flashing neon sign for people to look at, but it's a symbol all about the Lord, and what better thing could we ever do than point anyone and everyone toward Him? So as we go about our day today and begin this new Lenten season of praying, fasting, and almsgiving, I hope that whatever we do points not to you or to me, but to our Lord, our Savior, our awesome and loving God.